Devendra Fadnavis, the former Chief Minister of Maharashtra, has now reached Raj Bhavan in Mumbai. This comes on a day when he was in Delhi, met with BJP President J.P. Nadda and Home Minister Amit Shah. Remember, there are BJP leaders who are telling us that while the operation is being executed in Mumbai, it's being planned in Delhi. So soon after that meeting, he's reached the uh, residence, the Raj Bhavan. Bhagat Singh Koshyari, former BJP Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, is now the governor, remember, of Maharashtra. Is Devendra Fatnam is going to call for that floor test now? Is he going to make a representation to the governor to, that he would like to push this government for a no-confidence motion and wants to have a floor test? Kamlesh Sutar is joining me from Mumbai. Kamlesh, what are you picking up? Has Devendra Fatnam is finally decided to bite the bullet and demand a vote of no-confidence? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, perhaps it was decided and uh, this uh, visit to Raj Bhavan comes at a very crucial point. Uh, Devendra Fadnavis was in Delhi and after meeting his party bosses in Delhi, he met uh, J.P. Nanda, he met Amit Shah. And the way the uh, situation has been developing all throughout, Rajiv, uh, now it seems uh, the team uh, led by Devendra Fadnavis is also accompanied by several uh, BJP leaders here in Maharashtra. He's gone there. He will be meeting the governor now. What conspires? Whether he will be raising that issue? Because uh, the uh, rebel camp... Picking up, is there sure any possibility? Does he still want to wait or does he want to now go for the... Is, what, is the what are the two options that Devendra Fadnavis has at the moment? Uh, well, uh, the way the Supreme Court verdict has uh, come in, it has uh, come as a respite for the rebel MLS because the uh, uh, the sword that was hanging on the head of disqualification uh, is postponed till 12. So whatever they had to do, they had to do it before that. So perhaps at this scenario, what Devendra Fadnavis would be liking to do is to approach the governor and just approach him saying that so many MLAs, uh, given the uh, situation, volatile situation in Maharashtra, it seems, it seems that the, govern, uh, the government, MVA government has lost its, uh, lost its majority, it's in minority. And to clarify that, you should immediately call for uh, uh, an assembly session uh, and ask the MVA government to prove its majority. That is the first uh, proof. They won't uh, directly move the no-confidence motion. They will ask the governor to convene uh, assembly session and then they would ask the go uh, government or, or, or rather ask uh, Uddhav Thakri to prove his majority. They will, uh, they will propose the governor that the uh, government right. seems to be minority. At this point, they would not directly go for a no-confidence motion. It will be interesting, therefore, to see, uh, 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 Kamlesh, how the governor responds, whether the governor now asks Uddhav Thakre to prove his majority in the shortest possible time. Can Uddhav Thakre continue to defer this matter and say, look, I will prove it when the assembly convenes on the, uh, in the middle of July? Uh, well, uh, what we are learning from our sources in Shiv Sena is that they would again move to the Supreme Court. Uh, if the governor at all calls for a session and asks them to prove the majority, if there is a uh, no confidence motion moved against it, they would say that the issue of the suspension of the disqualification of MLS is pending and in that scenario, uh, you should not be holding any floor test. That is what we learned from our sources. Shiv Sena has kept that option open. We have been speaking to our sources in Shiv Sena all throughout the day and that is what they say they are planning to do. Anil Desai, Uddhav Thakre's legal legal, who is the legal advisor of the party, he is camping in Delhi. Uh, he has uh, uh, gone into huddle for several times with the uh, uh, top lawyers in Delhi and they have kept this option open in case the governor asks them to prove their majority. So what we are learning from our sources is that they would move the Supreme Court in case uh, there is any issue of uh, trust vote that comes across if the governor asks them. They would be, the reason that they would be giving is that the uh, uh, issue of disqualification is still pending. So till that issue is resolved, uh, you should not be uh, convening any assembly or asking That's the exactly what to prove Kamlesh. Their that's exactly what Priyanka Chaturvedi, who I interviewed just now, said, that till July 11th, till this issue is not resolved, the governor cannot force us to have a floor test. They are claiming that they will wait till, they want to wait till the 11th of July at the moment, buy some more time. One last point, Kamlesh, there is some buzz that there is a section of the MLAs of the Sena rebels, a group within the group, which is not keen to form a separate group. They want to still continue to persist to convince Uddhav Thakre to leave the MVA government and then for join hands with the BJP. How true is that, that there is a section of rebels within the rebels who would prefer to first have Uddhav Thakre leave the MVA and then continue with Uddhav as their leader? Uh, well, now that is uh, one tricky situation before the MLAs. One, because in case they have to merge their group, the option that is left with them is to either merge with the Bharatiya Janata Party 
or then the option left that Shiv Sena was talking about when they approached the deputy speaker is to either merge with a smaller party like Prar or even uh, like the news that was doing round that they might uh, even consider the option of MNS. But they don't want the, to merge their party with any other party because majority of the MLAs, especially from the Marathwada and Konkan region, they are not very comfortable in merging the party with Bharatiya Janata Party. That also would in a way villainize them. Uh, they would be seen in a bad picture right. if at all they do that. Uh, they have done this rebellion against the NCP uh, for Hindutva, but merging with the BJP would certainly be a big setback to them. So what they want either uh, maintain a separate group or else if that is not happening, the last option they might have is to maintain uh, their uh, identity as Shiv Sena, but then they will be left with no option than to accept the leader of Uddhav Thakre. These are tricky situations before the MLS, but yes, majority of them what we are learning are not in favor of directly merging with the BJP at this point. Right. Let me bring in uh, uh, Sail Joshi at this point. Sail, is this the final end game or is this going to stretch on as Priyanka Chaturvedi seemed to indicate that nothing will happen till the Supreme Court uh, hearing on the July on July 11th, the Sena is in no hurry to call for the assembly. Is that a possibility, or will the governor now say that within the next 48 hours, 72 hours, go for a floor test? Is Devendra Fadnavis now going to push the governor to force Uddhav Thakre to call the assembly? Well, now what we are hearing is that the BJP officially is going to inform the governor right now. The B, no, it's not only Devendra Fadnavis, but all the big leaders from Maharashtra, Devendra Fadnavis, the uh, leader of BJP and the pres state president of BJP, Chandrakan Patil, the leader of Legislative Council, uh, Praveen Darekar, and other leaders also have joined Devendra Fadnavis, and all of them have reached the uh, governor's house to inform the governor that they think that Uddhav Thakre government have lost the majority support in the House, uh, in the Maharashtra Assembly, and the governor should uh, direct the Uddhav Thakre government to take uh, the floor test uh, as early as possible. That is the thing which uh, will be informed to the governor at this point of time. It's a big thing because finally the BJP has come on the road. Till now, they were giving the logistical support. They were giving the support to the Shinde camp at this point of time but now the BJP has officially come into the play the BJP has moved to the governor and sought uh, that uh, you know sought his help to ask Uddhav Thakre to take the floor test on the floor of the house at the other hand uh, Uddhav Thakre has made it very clear that he's not going to resign tomorrow there is another cabinet meeting has been called by the Maharashtra cabinet one thing has been cleared by Shiv Sena that whatever happens they are going to move to the Supreme Court against if the governor asks them to prove the majority uh, in the court uh, in, in, on the floor of the house because they, they say that when this question was raised during the Supreme Court hearing, the Supreme Court made it very clear that right now there is a lot of confusion. Right now the petition with respect to the floor test has not come to them. When it will come, that time you can come back to the Supreme Court. So now the time might come by tomorrow that when the governor will ask Uddhav Thakre that prove your majority on the floor of the house, the Uddhav Thakre government will move to the court against uh, 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 governor's order, uh, governor's request to prove their majority on the floor of the house. Their contention is that first solve the issue uh, which is already pending in the Supreme Court and 11th of July date line has already been given. That is the contentious issue which first needs to be sorted. But out. if we Only go, but, that, but Sail, if we go by what, but Sail, if we go by what happened in Karnataka, in Karnataka the governor was able to push, in a way, the Kumaraswamy government to fast forward taking that floor test. The Kumaraswamy government there was also trying to dither on it. This was a couple of years ago. So it is possible now that with the pressure that will be applied by the governor's office in forcing the Uddhav Thakre government, even if they go to the Supreme Court, we seem to be now reaching the last stage of this battle for Maharashtra. Is there any other plan? There, is there any other um, uh, surprise element that can come in? Is there any possibility of a section of the rebels going back to Uddhav Thakre or is it now a done deal? Well, none of the MLAs have come back. The original plan was that the rebel MLAs, uh, out of that, the independent MLAs and the smaller parties will first write to the governor and will request him that we are, you know, we are withdrawing our support from the MBA government. But rather than doing that, it's BJP now have decided that they will move to the governor and will, as a majority party, as the uh, um, lead opposition party, will inform the governor. That
that looking at the condition, looking at the media reports, looking at the statements given by Eknath Shinde and his supporters, it's very clear that the current MBA government is in the minority. The only option remaining to uh, the Shiv Sena-led government at this point of time is to move to the court uh, immediately and ask for the urgent hearing. If the Supreme Court obliges this government to go for the uh, urgent hearing, then they may have some kind of a breathing time. But till then, it doesn't look like that they have any kind of a breathing time. The BJP okay. has decided finally to move swiftly because they, are, they were running out of time. 50 MLAs sitting in Guwahati since last uh, more than a week. And after that, if their patients run out, that will be a problem for the BJP and the Shinde group as well. Before that, they decided to move on immediately and next couple of days, if the governor pushes this government to take the floor test as early as possible, maybe by next week, we might see there is a new government unless and until Supreme Court intervenes after uh, this government moves right. to the court. Uh, that is going to be a one, very difficult One very situation. final question before I hand over to Gaurav Savan. Have, has Devendra Fadnavis gone with any letters of support from this legislature, from these rebels? Clearly, he, that would be running a risk because they have not officially been declared as the as the real Shiv Sena. So he's not gone with any letters of support. Am I correct? Well, right now I don't have that information. But what I can be sure about is that he has gone to governor's house to uh, inform and apprise the governor of the political situation in Maharashtra. Right. That is very clear. So BJP always had three plans. The first plan was, of course, that the Shinde group informs the governor that they are withdrawing support from the MBA government, which, may, which would have made it very clear that uh, you know, the MBA has lost the majority and then accordingly uh, he could have called a floor test. The second part was that the uh, independent MLAs will inform the governor and then governor will take a cue and ask uh, uh, the chief minister prove the majority. And the last part... Uh, last option was, of course, that the BJP as a majority party goes to the governor and informs them mm -hmm. that these are the people who are in touch with us and they say that they have withdrawn the support. They have filed such petition in the court. Now they don't have the majority. There is no stay on the uh, floor test. Why don't we go for the floor test? Because this government doesn't enjoy the majority on the floor of the house. That is what uh, it looks like that the, uh, right. uh, Devinder Fadnavis will uh, inform the governor at this point of time. But yes, uh, he might be having some kind of a letter with him. But that uh, story we, I will need to confirm uh, before I could go ahead with that. Okay.